Now to our big story, a surveillance camera catches a shooting at a Tosa bus stop. Yeah, I want to show you this video here. It shows a man staggering over to the bus stop. Prosecutors say the man looked and sounded extremely intoxicated. As our Zoe Sopala found out, this also wasn't the first time he fired his gun that night. Yeah, but in order for you to understand what exactly led up to this shooting at the bus stop, we first have to take you back to the beginning. Caught on camera, a man pulling out a gun and firing at a Milwaukee County Transit bus. Police say the driver wouldn't let him on because he was making threats. 335 and all support of a shooting at the mall. That threat would soon turn into a horrifying reality. I'm by the uh, Outer Ring Road in Mayfair. I need someone to go check on the victim. 20 minutes later, video shows someone getting shot at a bus stop in Wauwatosa. It happened earlier this month at Mayfair Mall on the north end of the Macy's parking lot. Prosecutors charged 23-year-old Robert Thompson in connection to the incident. Police say the victim was waiting for the next bus home after finishing their shift at a nearby Five Guys. Video shows Thompson walk up to the victim. Prosecutors say Thompson asked the victim for a cigarette, but the victim told him they didn't smoke. That's when prosecutors say Thompson shot the victim in the leg. Video shows glass shattering at the bus stop and Thompson running off. The bus operator said he heard shots fired. We see the victim clutching his leg before falling in the street. There's a man down east of the North Tower. There are other people around him. Police arrested Thompson a short time later. 306, I got the suspect, one gun. An officer spotted him running near Mayfair Road and Center Street. Police say Thompson looked and sounded very intoxicated. It's a detail one Milwaukee County Transit bus driver also noted to police just moments before Thompson got off the bus. Thompson is due back in court February 9th, and as you can imagine, this surveillance video played a huge role in the police investigation. In Milwaukee County, Zoe Chapala, Fox 6 News.